What is up guys, we are back again, and you know, there's been, I've been having a lot of time on my hands as of late, you know, I got a few extra days off from work, so I figured I'd go ahead and binge watch some shows, and one of the things that I wanted to go ahead and just talk about with you guys that I haven't really had a chance is, uh, I believe I'm pronouncing this right, L.A. Brea, or Brea, uh, you know, this show is brand new, you can watch it on, I believe, NBC or ABC, it's brand new. And it's not really a bad show, it's just, it's it's one of those shows that you really gotta put a lot into. And when I say that, meaning you have to really get into watching it. And it, like I said, it is an NBC show, and when you watch it, it's one of those where, again, I really didn't watch all the first episode. I got into it rather late. So, what we see is we see where these characters fall into this sinkhole and they go into this new world. And you have where one character by the name of Eve, her and her son are trapped down there. Her husband is a former uh, Air Force pilot. And what happens is. They're trying to figure out where they went, why they can't get anything down there, and then as soon as they're down there in this area, they find out that there's ancient animals there, like a saber tooth, a saber tooth that is still roaming. And then they later figure out that they are somehow in the past. And when they figure that out, the others on the other side in the current world, because it goes back and forth, it goes into the world that we now know as well as the world that these people are trying to adapt to and they are trying to fight and be able to escape and when the sinkhole opens all these animals come out and when this happens they are trying to figure out like okay how did this happen why did this happen and how are we going to survive like there's only a limited amount of food limited amount of space they're having to live in cars right now they haven't used what medical supplies they have they're trying to be smart and Again, if you're a fan of, like, let's say, Zoo, or if you're a fan of, uh, uh, oh man, there's so many shows that went off. Like, I, I gotta use Zoo for the biggest example for this show, because it really goes into survival into this show. It really goes into, you know, uh, what's the military really behind this? Do they know something about it? We later find out that there's more sinkholes around the world, especially in different time frames, and also that these people in in this uh, sinkhole, you know, back in the past, they really don't know each other, and they're trying to figure out how to survive, and they're trying to adapt to the wilderness, they're trying to adapt to the uh, the environment, and when they are, they there's so many turns, like, you, you know, they find this ancient civilization that's been there They're, they find all these animals you know the saber tooth um you know wolves and all these other animals that are supposed to be long since dead and they're not and whatever they find uh in the present it happened in the future so they're able to different things like there was a ring of the main character which her husband found in a certain area so they're able to communicate through back and forth you know if they find something if they bury something in the past they can find it in the future or you know vice versa they can send down drones and stuff. That's how they were able to do it in the last episode. But there are issues with this show. There are. It's one of those where, for me, there are really no characters that I really like at this moment in time. There's really no characters that I connect with. The main thing that I would have to say that I'm very invested in is figuring out why that this sinkhole goes back to the past. Because apparently, as soon as you go through the lights where it looks like almost like, you know, the uh, the Alaskan lights or the uh, Northern lights, then it feels like you just get transported into this other world and you get, uh, you basically have to, you know, there, there's no way of coming out because there's been other people there for over a few years that they find out that they've been trying to get home now for a long time and they're now unable to leave. So, they're trying to use every sense of the source because you got, you know, you got these characters, you know, you got a doctor, you got, you know, the pothead, you got, you know, the outlaw, you got the cop, you got the, you know, the wannabe leader, you have the military guy, you have, you know, one of the guys trying to prove himself. So again, you get a lot of these characters that you are trying to really, not really connect to, but understand what their story is and what they're trying to do. And it's really hard, you know, again, if you mix like Zoo, The Hundred, 
uh, loss. You know, that's pretty much what you get out of this show. Is it the best show? Really, no, it's not. I mean, I'm six episodes in already, and it's one of those where I really don't care what happens to the characters. I just want to know what's going to happen in the story. And I think that's what really causes the show to really go downhill a little bit. Now, the only one I recognize is Natalie Zia. She played in Justified. That's the only actress that I recognize from this show. Other than that, there's really no one else I really recognize. There's no one at all. So it's kind of interesting that, you know, of all the shows, you know, I thought I would be very... Like, oh, man, you know, I like shows like this or, you know, I like something that has to do with survival or trying to handle something. It's really interesting when you're trying to figure things out in a show and especially when you really kind of don't care what happens in most of these, uh, you know, characters. Because it's really sad when you get a show that has a lot of potential and the characters are very bland they're very flawed you really don't care about them you really don't care what's going to happen to them at least that's just me at the moment again things could change i don't know if i'm gonna like these characters or i'm gonna feel bad for them or i'm gonna love them or hate them but there's really no characters that i really want to see you know survive right now i mean i really just don't care i mean that's how bad it is i just i don't care and i really want you know the show to be better it's just one of those things where i feel like if the show does not improve then i may steer away from it i don't know that's just how my first thoughts are right now at this moment in time it could change in a matter of time who knows but uh you guys watching la bria hopefully you guys understand what i'm talking about um if you guys ever watched it what are your thoughts on it i'd like to know uh do you guys think it's an okay show do you think it's boring do you think it's exciting either way if you're enjoying it then by all means enjoy it but if you guys don't like it too that's fine as well i just want to talk about it for a few minutes with you guys what are your thoughts on this again i'm just not really invested in this i find it really uh like it's one of those shows like oh i'll watch it it's not like oh man i, I gotta watch the next episode you know it's not like that not right now anyways but that's just my opinion but what do you guys think about this are you guys in agreement disagreement either way let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below if you guys know what to do subscribe to the channel click notifications you guys are notified every time i upload and as always see you guys on the next one